I'm Roger Shawns from the University of Guelph. Um, I'm joining you today on behalf of the Canadian Greenhouse Conference. Um, we're doing a virtual new varieties display this year, and as part of that, we're interviewing our sponsors. Today, we're joined by Alan Van Staldunen and Max Epp from Ball. Let's start with Alan. Alan, what's new and exciting for Ball that you'd like to share with us today? Thanks, Roger. It's uh, it's good to be here um, with this um, this event, and we can't be there in person, so um, yeah, we'll have to do the best we can online. But I'm happy to share about a few uh, perennials and, and a couple annuals. So the um, I'll start with a, a couple annuals because um, one of the biggest um, breakthroughs in breeding in the last uh, couple of years has been the Beacon series of impatience which have um, downy mildew resistance. Uh, there's a new color in the uh, assortment. It's called a beacon rose. And uh, this is that um, pink rosy color that we've bis been missing so far in the series. And uh, this, um, you know, I've seen a lot more impatience out in, uh, in people's gardens this year. Uh, this is kind of the year when impatience kind of made it back uh, in, a, in a big way into uh, retail. Uh, outlets and so the beacon rose just adds a color uh, to that series that we were uh, previously missing so that's kind of uh, exciting and uh, the word is they are working on several more colors so the beacon series within a short period of time will have all the colors that growers are used to in super elfin accent in the other series that they've been growing over the last few years uh, the next in introduction i'd like to talk about is an easy wave rose fusion and um, the easy wave is a very versatile series growers can use it in baskets uh, it works well in, uh, in mixed patio containers and also get that um, spreading habit right in the garden so what i found with uh, with the rose fusion even in my own garden this year was um, large blooms a perfect habit just uh, nicely mounted shaped and uh, was exceptional all the way through. So I'm really excited to see the, um, this new wave um, color added to the series. Um, I also wanna talk about a couple of perennials. And then the third one is kind of in between. So I'll leave that to the end. Um, there's a new series of Aquilegia called the Early Bird Series. And uh, this is all new breeding. And a lot of growers that are growing um, at Columbine or Aquilegia had to give a very long cold treatment to get the, um, the flowers to, um, to be nice and early um, or even flower at all. So the new early bird series really takes out a lot of that cold treatment, has a very low requirement for cold treatment. And this makes it very easy for growers to grow and have success with to hit that early spring sales when, when columbine flowers. Um, has a very controlled habit and has um, very bright colors, very unique colors in it. And samples that I gave to um, some growers last year, they were very impressed with this uh, new series. It is from seed, so it, it fits in from uh, for four inch up to gallons. And I think it's a really exciting new introduction for, um, for ball. Um, the other one would be a new series of Echinacea. Uh, We've had in the last few years, the Cheyenne mix, which was an f hybrid mix of colors, like the reds, oranges, and yellows in a, um, in a seed echinacea, but we were unable to separate the colors until now. Now we've got the new Ar Artisan series and there's two colors to start. There's a red and there's an orange, and these are F1 hybrids. So you're gonna get that really consistent flowering time and habit and um, I think the grower can also program those a little bit earlier because the one of the issues with the Cheyenne mix was um, within the mix you'd have different variable colors it's very hard to kind of mix a container because you never really knew what you're going to get so this is really exciting there's a seed on the shelf right now already and uh, growers could sow that already this fall or early winter for next spring. So really excited about uh, that item as well. The, the last item I'd like to talk about is uh, as a Spanish lavender, and it's actually in our perennial book, but it's kind of deceiving because it's a zone seven. So it's not really gonna be perennial here in, in Canada. 
Um, but Spanish lavenders are renowned to have a very short uh, bloom window. They look really good. You can usually program them for early spring. But um, the new Primavera series is going to extend that series for growers to, to, to have these things flower. So they'll basically flower from in, you know, early spring right through all summer into the fall. So growers can program it to finish any time in, in that window. And the nice thing about the, um, the Primavera, it does have a very um, high degree of heat tolerance. So we've, we've seen pictures and, and reports and trials where even in the heat of the summer, we were still seeing flower on, on Primavera. So lavender, of course, is a very popular item right now. And a lot of growers are using this uh, to kind of uh, from their spring season right through into summer. And they're usually using the, um, the English lavenders. But here's a nice uh, Spanish lavender where they can get that performance um, as well. So this is a vegetative cutting. And I, we'd be happy to talk to growers on how to program this best for what they would like to do. And uh, there's lots of availability yet. So we're really excited as a corporation about this breakthrough in, in Spanish lavender. So uh, now to turn to um, see, uh, vegetative annuals and potted plants, I'd like to turn to my um, coworker, Max Epp. Max? Thanks, Alan. It's great to talk to everybody today. I'd like to introduce you to a few new varieties from Balfour Plant Selecta. Our new Chacha series, which is coming out. Fantastic color, lemon frost, it's just unbelievable. Performance is fantastic, awesome for upsale garden center sales. We move into a new double biddens, that sun drop double yellow. Just unbelievable flower size, beautiful upright habit, excellent for your mixed containers. If you take a look at the flower size and you look at it, it's just and the double flower. It's just spectacular. I'm not sure you can see that or not, but. Yeah, I can see it. So, and then we move into another series of coleus, our flame flower series. And this is Cajun Spice, just a dynamite color. Be awesome for your fall accent planters. We also, which is our top hit right now, would be the new bees knees yellow. This petunia was taking over by storm. And if you want it, you better get your orders in because it's falling off the shelf. Unbelievable color and staying power. We move into a few items from Selecta. This is their new main stage, which is their aggressive petunia. Absolutely gorgeous. The performance of this in El Savoy's trial was unbelievable. It was trailing all the way to the ground. This is called Glacier. Super performance. And the Sky Series, everybody knows Night Sky. Well, here we have the new introduction, electric purple, dynamite color. Will go very well with mixed containers. Awesome. Now geraniums, we all know what can be new in geraniums. So we kind of look at Select again. They do an interesting job on bringing geraniums and we kind of go into their new interspecific series, which is called Mercata. This is their new neon, spectacular. An awesome variety. What a sexy color. It's going to be a hit. Thank you very much for taking the time out. Those are a few of our new varieties for the season. Hopefully everybody has a, another fantastic season this year. And we're all looking forward to it. Take care. Thanks, Max. And thanks, Alan.